very good morning to you children today we'll start with the fourth part that is loudness and intensity of sound now um in the last video you were explained frequency amplitude time period now what is frequency frequency is the number of vibrations or number of cycles that is completed in one second okay number this is one cycle from here if a wave starts and it comes to the mean position and then goes down this is what this is the displacement displacement and here is the time okay so a wave starts from here and comes and meets the mean position here so this is one complete cycle the number of cycles that it take that takes place in one second is what this is the frequency and the time taken time period is what the time taken to complete one cycle is the time period then what is the amplitude the max the displacement of the wave okay is the amplitude amplitude means it is the it shows the energy of the wave the higher the energy of the wave the more is going to be the displacement okay two waves might be having the same frequency but it is not necessary that the two waves will have the same amplitude okay this was a review of the last video today we are going to start with loudness or intensity of wave okay when a person produces a sound when two persons produce sound one person's sound is different from the other person isn't it that you you distinguish people by their sound okay why because every sound has its own characteristics okay and one of the characteristics is what is the loudness clear when when our ear it perceives a sound it it perceives as either loud or as soft okay and this depends on what this depends on the intensity or the amount of energy of the sound intensity is what the amount of energy of the sound okay then loudness is what it is a characteristics of sound which distinguishes a feeble sound from a loud sound of the same frequency frequency might be same but the uh, amplitude i said that with in with the same frequency two sounds might have different amplitudes and this difference in the amplitude distinguishes a uh, sound in loud and Uh, feeble. Okay. Now, if the amplitude is more, okay, if the energy level is more, then the throw of the wave will wave will be more. Okay, if the energy level is more, then the throw of the wave will be more. That means the amplitude will be more. The higher the amplitude, the louder will be the sound. And with a lower amplitude. the sound is soft or it is feeble clear and uh, let me explain this to you with the help of an example uh, suppose you pluck a rubber band softly okay when you pluck a rubber band softly then it produces a soft sound okay but then if you pluck the rubber band with a greater force then it will produce a louder sound so loudness is what loudness is related to sound means loudness increases with the amplitude of the sound okay so uh, in higher classes you will study that loudness is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude of vibration that means if the amplitude is doubled then the loudness will increase four times clear this you will study in higher classes okay 
so the factors that affect uh, or the factors on which the loudness depends are first one i said is amplitude that is the higher amplitude the higher the amplitude the louder is the sound another example over here is you take a tuning fork and you uh, you strike it with a with something okay with a wooden gong or something you strike it then if you do it softly then you will hear soft sound but then if you hit the tuning fork hard then you will hear a louder sound you can do a small experiment in your house you take a, a metallic glass okay and a spoon you take a uh, spoon this is a spoon okay and you take a pith ball a pith ball is like this and you tie it to a thread then you take a centimeter scale also centimeter scale you took a glass tumbler okay a metallic glass then a spoon a pith ball tied to a thread and a centimeter scale now what you will do is you strike the table uh, sorry you strike the spoon gently at the side of this glass okay and you will hear a sound that is produced clear now this sound will be uh, okay you hear the sound that is produced now what you do as the sound stops you hit this glass metallic glass uh, a bit harder than you hit the in the first time okay then you will feel that the sound that is produced later is louder than the sound that was produced in the previous hit because previously you hit you had hit it softly okay and then in the second case you had hit it hard so the sound that is going to be produced in the second case will be more now you suspend the pith ball near this glass so this is the glass and you suspend the pith ball when you suspend the pith ball you have suspended the pith ball with the help of a thread right when you suspend the pith ball you will see that after striking when you suspend the pith ball you will see that the pith ball moves to and fro okay this to and fro movement of the pith ball is what it is the displacement and this is this displacement is what it is the measure of the amplitude of the um, vibration of the glass right this is the measure of amplitude of the vibration of the glass so, but uh, in the second case you will see that the amplitude is more that means the pith ball moves to a greater distance clear then the loudness increases with the increase in surface area of the vibrating body okay that is the larger the larger the area larger the area of the vibrating body greater will be the or louder will be the sound louder will be the sound that means if you take a small drum and you take a big drum okay now you hit both the drums one by one this drum will produce less or a feeble sound this drum will produce a feeble sound whereas the surface area of this drum is more compared to this this will produce a louder sound clear this will produce a louder sound 
then the next is that loudness increases with decrease in the distance between the source and the listener okay that means suppose this is the source and this is the listener okay a person who is standing over here can hear a louder sound than a person who is standing at a greater distance that means the greater the distance the lesser will be the or the feeble the will be the sound that is going to be heard the uh, if the distance between the source and the listener is less then the sound heard will be louder when the distance is great then the sound heard will be feeble clear sound uh, loudness of the sound it also depends upon the atmospheric pressure the temperature the velocity of the wind and the amount of moisture present in the air all these things in detail you will be learning in higher classes okay that's all in this video in the next video we are going to uh, start with what is the next topic we are going to start with uh wait 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 eco reflection of sound that is good and bad reflectors of sound and eco i hope you all have understood go through the chapter till wherever it is taught thoroughly two three times and then only you are going to make your doubts clear